All right, so today I'm talking about um, representing patterns in UML and um, uh, this is sort of part two of a, of a talk uh, that I did a couple of years ago where I explored, you know, do you, is it a good idea to, to automate design patterns? And uh, I, I looked at various tools and uh, discussed various things. Um, and things have moved on in the uh, UML world since then. And so uh, I'm looking at a whole new batch of tools and see what they've done with, with this whole idea. Uh, so create a new interface up here called Interface 2, which has, uh, let's say, uh, do A. and do BBB and yeah I don't know oh by the way these see those um, they're the stereotypes I was talking about before they're little double square brackets so let's drag this into the list of interfaces, and that that does work. You can see the two names in there. Oh, and it yeah generated the uh, the other methods down here, do A and do B. Now, with some patterns, the the, the you get collaboration lines like that. Right, so you can you can sort of see that the relationship between the classes there. Um, sometimes the rational will will do that for you. It'll add those lines for you, and sometimes it doesn't. I'm not. I'm, I was tearing my hair out trying to figure out when it does and when it doesn't. I'm just and I'm just resigned to the fact that it's just a little bit buggy and and. Uh, There's a 30-day trial. Yeah. Um, now, interestingly enough, some patterns take this to the to the next level um, in in this tool. In that, not only are the parameters to the pattern interfaces and classes, but also method names can appear in this list. So something like a strategy pattern, which involves a method that does the delegating. So let's try that. Let's pull out the strategy pattern, for example. Um, it needs a strategy, a context, concrete strategy and a context. It even has a preview here of how we might wire this up. Um, so let's drag it out. Now that that has an interface in a class and a class, so let's forget that one. I'm trying to find a pattern that's got a method in it. Um, oh, I can I can preview them all here. There chain of responsibility. It's got a class, a class and a method. So in this situation you could wire this up by dragging a class into here. Let's just pull that over there. Uh, another class. Well here we don't have a class so we can create one. Just Concrete handler. We don't have a class. We don't have any. Cl we need an another class. We've only got two interfaces and a class here. It may allow the same class, but let's assume it doesn't. And demonstrate another feature is that if you hover over here, you can you can say click on the C and it'll create a, a class for you. Uh, now the handle request that is a 
a method. So let's grab a method and drag the method onto the pr pattern parameter. And there we have it. We've done it. Now, where's the actual... that didn't actually add it to the diagram. The new class that we created wasn't actually handled, a added to the diagram, but so I had to drag it out. But see, notice when I dragged it out, it connected it to the right spot and actually added that collaboration line for me, the, um, this thing. Now, I don't know why they call them, they do ab the word abstraction here. All these lines are labeled abstraction. They should have the role name they should say that's the concrete handler, so they should have actually have the role name, I think. So I've got some thoughts about how to improve this tool. Um, I'd love to write my own one day, to have a, a, a sort of a cut-down version of that's just focused on design patterns only. And um, that, may, but this is pretty close to to what I would probably do. Yeah. You, you you, you, you can customize this in the sense you, you can write your own patterns. Y you need to write Java code to do it. I haven't looked into that yet. <coughs> yeah, usually it's a mixture of a bit of XML spec and a, and a maybe a, a class or a DLL or a something. Um, and maybe a, a, an, an image, like a little screenshot of the preview. So that's and and the code that this generates, by the way, is is very good. Um, like the singleton class, if we t if we make this a singleton, just quickly, just to finish off. Um, oh, actually, let's do this one. Um, that's now done. One thing that I haven't figured out how to do with this tool is is to get actually get the pattern implementation methods to appear in the UML diagram. Like with all the other tools, as soon as you added the methods, you could see them in the UML class class diagram. But here in Rational, see it's still empty. There's no get instance method. No, it's already applied, and it, you try reapplying it. It, it, it um, so that's that's an, that's an interesting observation. Is that um, whenever you have a stereotype, uh, you don't display the implementation of that stereotype for for brevi for brevity purposes. Yeah, but we can. But we. C it'd be nice if there was a switch that lets you switch on the the methods and, and not. Uh, if, if, if someone could tell me how to do it, I'd be, I'd be appreciated. But what we can do is we can generate the code, um, transform UML to Java. Java only. Or C++ and some other language, but not C Sharp, unfortunately. Uh, yes, there's probably some politics involved there. A concrete handler. Um, so it's created a private constructor, which is good, and it's got c concrete handler. Uh, it's got a get instance method, which does the right thing. So I'd say it's a fairly perfect implementation. Synchronized embedded static as well. So 